All right, so here we go. So we got the iMatch, uh, finally post a video on that. What you haven't seen us have is a Cultipacker um, that is ridiculously big. I'm literally sitting like a chair on it. So now that we have an iMatch, I'm having issues with making things iMatch compatible or quick hitch compatible. So we're gonna, we're gonna go to the uh, machine shop, the steel shop, and we're just going to make our own bushings because nothing freaking fits. <laughs> um, so what we got, we got these little bushings that fit in there, slide side to side, or we have the iMatch bushing that doesn't fit also. So what we have is the ID, the inside, is a 7 8 and that's standard ca category one. The OD is an uh, inch and a half. So how pipe is measured, it's by the OD, and then they go by wall thickness to get your ID. So if we have an inch and a half in OD, 7 8 ID, and I scribble down all my measurements. <laughs> well, we're, the material we're going to use is called drawn over mandrel, uh, DOM tubing, right? Um, it's tighter tolerance. It's not perfect. It's not machined. Uh, but it's strong and it's, yeah, again, tight tolerance. So with an inch and a half OD, subtract 7 eighths of an inch gives you 0 0.0625 overall remember we got to divide it in half because we only need the radius of it so we dot, divide 0 0.0625 by 2 we get 0 0.3125 if you take 5 divided by 16 you get the same number so what we have is inch and a half od by 5 16 wall and now all we're going to do is take our measurements in between these right here. We're going to write them all down and then we're going to get some DOM tubing cut for us so we have our uh, slugs to work with our quick hitch. Had a look at it at a couple angles. Uh, I'm thinking we better do 11 sixteenths. You seeing what I'm seeing? Get the right angle here. Uh, I'm going 11 sixteenths. Two and 11 sixteenths. All right. Uh, two and three quarter, two and seven eighths. Do I want to go two and seven eighths? Two, two and seven eighths. This one, we got, yeah, two and seven eighths. Boy, that's almost, you could almost go three inches, right? Uh, this one is not going to make three inches. Two and seven eighths for the TR3. Chain hero. Uh, yep, and by the power of the internet, we now have iMatch bushing things to go on all of our implements to make them quick hitch compatible. Let's go do it. Well, here they are in all their glory. Uh, let's see, these two guys. Total price, $5.42. These four guys, total $11.61. That's a significant discount from uh, buying them elsewhere. All right. Slugger in there. Ha, 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 ha.
Nice. Let's go put the other ones in. Hey, Parmesan. Now that we got it up, let's go put it on and see if it really is quick hitch compatible. Seems like it worked. I mean, first time let's get the uh parking stands lifted up before we snap and break those and see that happening in my future and uh take a look so here's what we got <laughs> had to look <laughs> frontier cp 1572 these this is I gotta check the weight on it, but this thing's pretty heavy. Got these scraper kits up here, so when we get into, uh, you know, soil that's too wet to, to till, to, to seed, stuff like that, uh, we're just gonna have to go when it's go time. So I wanted a cultipacker with a scraper kit. I'll give you a close up on that so you can see it. Other than that, this thing's huge. This is a lot bigger than, uh, than I thought. And it's dinner time. This is my hand. I mean, this thing's huge. This is the little scraper that goes in between there. And all on. So this just in, Bulldog Tractor now does lawn rolling. Who knew? <laughs> 